I'm building a micro quad <clears throat> using the Racer Star BR1103 motors and I ran into a problem um, when I went to strip the wires. Uh, these wires are either 28 or 30 gauge <clears throat> and <clears throat> and um, I, my wire stripper only goes to 26 gauge down to 26 gauge and it didn't work and in the past I've been able to do this with my fingernails on such small wires but these are coated with some sort of uh, rubbery silicon covering which is good but it's very hard to strip I tried with my fingernails and it just tended to stretch instead of break and I've already cut them to link so I was worried that I'd do some damage <clears throat> I finally came up with a way to do it that uh, has worked so far we're gonna I did it on some uh, scrap wire we're gonna test it on the real things now but what you need is um, pair of pliers, some scissors, and a soldering iron. Now I tried to melt the end of it but that didn't work either but uh, the technique is to stretch it out, cut off a little bit and then touch it with a soldering iron which causes it to heat shrink back exposing the bare wire. So let's say you want a, about an eighth inch strip, three millimeters, something like that. You grab it about a quarter of an inch with a needle nose pliers and then I do take my fingernails and try to pull it off. It doesn't work of course. So then I cut off the end of the rubber hopefully not getting any of the um, wire with it because it's stretched out some and then I take the soldering iron barrel, it's hot, and just heat that up and it exposes, it shrinks it back up and exposes the wire tip. So let me do another one. So you go about quarter inch, six millimeters back, grab it with your fingernail, stretch it out a little, I'll go ahead and do another one while I'm here. Okay. Oops. Clip off the end. Being careful not to get the wire. Take the soldering iron. Hope you can see that. So now I've got three tips that are ready to be tinned. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna use this large tip to tin and solder those with, so I'll just go ahead and do the rest of them. Hopefully some of this will get on this video. I'm not sure, it's kind of close quarters, so I'm not sure how the focus will be, but we'll check it out afterwards. Now you probably wouldn't need the needle nose pliers but I just find it's more accurate to repeat what you're trying to do each time. It's a solid wire so you're not going to crush anything. Oops, I stretched that one a little far. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, there's just want to get enough <clears throat> that I can 
That may not be quite enough on that one, but I'll touch it up later. Let's try another one. I want to go ahead and get all these done while my soldering iron is hot. Let's see. You can feel it pull, and uh, so far, even though I feel like I've pulled it too far, it seems to have worked every time. I find the needle nose pliers help just to make sure it's a very firm grip and it doesn't uh, pull out, stretch out any more. Oops, yeah, see that one stretched out. That one stretched out pretty far, <clears throat> but that's okay. That one might could take a little more, but I think I will leave it for now. I'm very happy with this method because I was really pulling my hair <coughs> trying to get these wires stripped. Maybe I'll cut them right after I stretch them. I think if you try to do all three, if you try to do all three, they tend to maybe try to pull back a little before you get them cut. So, I don't know. <clears throat> you may have a better way to do this, but uh, this is all I've found that was would work for me. Well, I hope you can see that. <clears throat> and I hope that was helpful. Um, anyway, good luck with your wire stripping. Thanks for watching.